stream. Hello, I'm going to be doing this live this time. And as you can see, I made some bad pixel art for all of you to look at. So it isn't just, you know, a black screen. So anyway, this is supposed to represent the uh, monk faction. I could go into detail of what each of these mean, but I'm going to do the part that you actually came here for first. The Cost of Power, Chapter 1, NPC Perspective. Wait, no, that's... Hold on. Um, okay, there, and then all right, segment three event NPCs, event non player characters, NPCs for short normally appear during events. Obviously, they are normally very strong, but in some cases, they have a specialized role or function. An example is the Easter Bunny, is the Easter Egg event, where the sneaky Easter Bunnies that make, where they are sneaky Easter Bunnies that make event, that make eggs, goodness. The eggs at first seem like loot boxes but if not broken fast enough, they hatch into strong monsters. They drop the same loot either way, so it's best just to break them. The prize for completing the event is the an Easter Bunny pet. It will occasionally, once per hour, give monster eggs that can spawn enraged monsters. They can't be tamed and, sh and die after a short period. It is just one event in the wonderful game, and of course, multiple bl w players can complete the event. Since Christmas is just around the corner, we celebrated it today, we will give you the rundown on the Christmas event. Children who don't get to participate in the event will receive a gift from Santa, the event NPC, NPC of this event. He will buy anything from anyone. If you sell something of great value, he will give you the Deconstruct Master skill. Okay, so let, my dad said I needed to break this down more because it's dense. He will buy anything from anyone. Basically, he will buy anything that can be bought or sold for half of its value. If you sell something of great value, he'll give you a secret bonus. This which is the Deconstruct Master skill, if you have Deconstruct at the maximum level of level 10. Normally, Deconstruct lets you get materials of up to a certain amount of gold. Deconstruct Master lets you get materials of any price instead of getting all materials up to 10,000 gold, which is what Deconstruct level 10 does, which is very good, very late game. Also, St. Nicholas is unreachable during this event, so you should fin finish any business you have with him. Some of the prizes you can obtain in two parts. The first part is for the players who died too close to the event and are still children. They are given a small prize depending on karma. This prize is your choice for sele from sele your choice from selected uncommon grade equipment. For the players who take part in the event, they gain a small amount of gold. For each go sold, they gain a small amount of gold for each sold item. It is less than any other store, but you can sell anything and everything. You get more and more points for the event. And the more you sell, you gain the you gain the Christmas set of armor, rare gray 
upgrade equipment that gives increased healing from all sources, as well as the candy cane wep weapon, which is class specific and has the consumable weapon template. The highest tier reward from Santa is the Santa sack, which holds 10 times as much weight as it weighs and carries 10 candy canes per hour and creates 10 candy canes per hour which I don't have here but they basically are a con consumable item that turns into a throwing knife after you consume them once and can be consumed again or thrown but what about the cultist faction they use leftover armor and weapons for their followers it's basically a private army to them so how do they participate well Krampus, the unhunted, appears and he wants the hide of beasts. Any beast hide you collect can be sold to Krampus for rewards, like the Frozen Chain set, which is based on the ninth layer of hell from Dante's Inferno. It slows you down by 50%, but gives the user high resistance to most debuffs. The Devil's Whip, which has its own set, but I didn't mention it here, which attacks every two seconds and has a stunning effect that lasts for 1.5 seconds, but very low damage. The highest tier reward is the Krampus Sack, which is just the same as the Santa Sack, but gives one slave child every day. Because Krampus. Krampus items can't be given to players with good karma, and the same is true with bad karma in the Santa gear. If someone tries to get the other set, they get the set that should be given to them, that they should have access to. Lastly, fear the woods. There might be something abominable out there. And since that is done, I can now go ahead and explain this. So, of course, we have the yin-yang. Or at least as good of a yin-yang as I could make in pixel art at, with my current skill level. Then we have it being surrounded by the four elements, fire, earth, water, air, which is represented by wool mostly. And then we have it changing from between the elements. Air and earth are opposites, as and the same is true with water and fire, as just a neat touch. So, and then if you look here, you'll see that there are uh, the types. For instance, if I am a fire specialist and go into air, I will get the poison typing, which is basically smoke, smog, poison in general, all those things. If I went into earth, I'd get the lava ability. If I were to reverse that, I'd get sand, and if I wanted to get stone and water, I'd get mud. Water and earth makes plants, yeah, and then water and wind make snow or mist. Then air and fire make lightning. You'll notice that one of these things either has a specialty that is in, like, one moment, let me collect my thoughts. In the game, there is a system where every class has three different um, types, three different um, specialties. There is the fighter specialty, which focuses on strength and defense. There is the assassin specialty, which is like your rogues who specialize in quick at and sneaky attacks and evasive maneuvers. And then you have the mage, mm -hmm. which is just magic. If you go into each one of them specially, you'll get the mage. With maybe a bit of crossbreeding, for instance. Stone will also give you some of that fighter stuff. And uh, wind, air will get you some of that wizard stuff will give you some of that evasive stuff because you know it's wind. 
And then they each have like some form of blinding ability. For instance, sand, smoke, mist, and snow all have the ability to be evasive, pretty much. Then, of course, mud, lava, thunder, and moss are going to be the quote-unquote fight fighter specialties of them and then if you get the yin yang which is true immortal you get uh access to basically all of them which is going to need balancing